This is the first in a series of video lectures on systems of linear equations. We're going to look at, when we're all done, we're going to look at four ways of solving them. In this video lecture, we're going to focus on the first way, which is substitution. So our objective, solve, not solves, let's try solve, solve systems of linear equations by substitution. Well, what is a system of linear equations? A system of linear equations is simply a collection of two or more linear equations. We are going to focus primarily uh, in the next few video lectures on a system, on a collection of, of only two linear equations, but you can have three, four, five, six, as many as you'd like. So here's an example. This brace here, this curly bracket, if you will, tells us that we're dealing with a system. In this case, we have two equations. The first equation, 2x plus 2y equals 5, a linear equation. The second linear equation, negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 2. So again, we, this curly bracket brace tells us we're dealing with a system. This is a system of two linear equations containing two variables, x and y. Now a system, excuse me, a solution of a system of equations consists of values for the variables that are solutions of all of the equations of the system. So using this example here, I'll slip a bit so we have that example written because I rewrote that example. Using the same example, when x equals 2 and y equals 1, or you can write it as a point 2, 1, this is a solution to this system. Because in equation 1, if I put 2 in for x and 1 in for y, I get 2 times 2 plus 1. Well, that's 5, and that, is, that makes equation 1. That is a solution to equation 1. And if I put 2 in for x and 1 in for y into equation 2 here, I'll have negative 4 times 2 plus 6 times 1. And that's equal to negative 2, which again shows that it is a solution of that equation. So this is a solution to the system because this is a solution to each of the equations, to all of the equations in the system. So when we talk about solving a system of equations, that means finding all solutions of the system all possible solutions, and there can be more than one, depending upon the system. When a system of equations has at least one solution, that system is said to be consistent. So a vocabulary word here, if the system has at least one solution, one or more solutions, we call that system consistent. When a system has no solutions, it is called inconsistent. It might help you to think that the prefix in generally means, no, generally means not. So not consistent, no solutions. That might help you with kind of remembering that when a system has no solutions, it's called not consistent, inconsistent. So how do we solve these systems by substitution? So to, to do that, step one, we're going to write, and we're only going to, remember, we're only going to deal with a, we're only going to deal with systems of two linear equations for this, for most of our work as we work to solve here. Write one of the equations as variable equals. Replace or substitute that variable's expression into the other equation. And I might should be one word there, into. Look, my, look, spelling mistake. Step three, solve the other equation. Step four, 
solve for the remaining variable, and step five, check your solution in each equation. As a reminder, it has to work for both equations or for all equations in order to be, to be a solution for the system. Okay, here's an example, example one. We'll do a couple of examples. This is pretty straightforward. We have solved this system of equations. We have a system of two equations and two unknowns, x and y. I'm going to number this first equation with the number one so we can talk about it, and this second equation with the number two. Okay, so let's, let me come down a little bit here. Write one of the equations as variable equals. Well, I'm gonna suggest that the easiest equation to write as either x equals or y equals is equation two. Because I just subtract x from both sides and I have y equals, or I subtract y from both sides and I have x equals. I'm gonna to choose to write equation two as y equals eight minus x. Variable equals expression. Step two, substitute that variable's expression into the other equation. Substitute eight minus x for y in equation one. Okay, here's equation one. Wherever I see y, I'm gonna substitute eight minus x in. So three times x, plus two times y, which is eight minus x, that's the substitution part, equals 19. Okay, step three, solve equation one. Remember, in this case, we substitute into equation one. We're gonna solve equation one here. Okay, so I have three x plus two times eight minus x equals 19, you'll note this is one equation and one unknown. It can be solved. I'm gonna clean up the left side. I have 16 minus 2x. I'd use the distributive property. I'm gonna combine like terms on the left side. I have x plus 16 on the left. And then I'm gonna solve for x by subtracting 16 from both sides. And I'm gonna come up with x is equal to three. Okay, step four, solve for y in this case, because I found x. Well, it says right here, y equals eight minus x. Okay, y equals eight minus three, y equals five. Okay, so I'm gonna say I have a consistent system, I have a solution. Solution is x equals three, y equals five, or writing it as a point, the point three, five is a solution to my system. Of course, I'm gonna check it. I can always check equations. So let's do our check. Okay, equation one is three x plus two y equals 19. So let's check equation one, three x plus two y equals 19. Okay, this we think the solution is this. So does three times three plus two times five equal 19? That's a question. Three times three is nine plus 10. Indeed, 19 equals 19. I just checked equation one. Now let's check equation two. Equation two is right here, x plus y equals eight. So I wanna check, does x plus y equals eight? Well, x is three, y is five. Does that equal eight? Again, that's a question, and yes, three plus five equals eight. So I just checked, I just checked both of the equations. My solution works for both of them, therefore, my solution works for the system. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's do one more. We'll be, uh, and then we'll, we'll move on to uh, we'll, we'll, next video lecture. We'll cover how to do this by what's called elimination. Let's solve this one. Again, this curly bracket, 
This brace represents the fact that this is a system. I have a system of two equations and two unknowns. The two unknowns are x and y. I'm going to call 2x plus y equals 5 equation 1, and I'm going to call negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 2 equation 2. Okay? Let's write. Let me, let's take a look at this here. Okay, I want to solve one of these two to be variable equals. Well, equation one, if I subtract what looks to be the easiest to do is to solve it for y. I just subtract 2x from both sides and I'll have y equals. So let's write equation one in this case as y equals 5 minus 2x. Okay, step two, let's substitute Okay, we're going to substitute 5 minus 2x for y in equation 2. Substitute into the other equation. So I solved equation 1 for y. I'm going to put what I got, the expression, into equation 2. And that's going to tell me negative 4x plus 6. Here comes the substitution. 5 minus 2x equals negative 2. Now you'll note I have one equation in one unknown that's solvable. So let us solve equation number 2. Okay, negative 4x. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some distributing. This is plus 30 minus 12x equals negative 2. I can combine like terms and I have negative 16x plus 30 equals negative 2. Let's subtract 30 from both sides. Negative 16x equals negative 32. Let's divide both sides by negative 16. x is equal to 2. Okay, now I solve for x. So step 4, solve for the other variable. So I'm going to solve for y because I already solved for x. I know up here y is equal to 5 minus 2x. So 5 minus 2x is equal to 5 minus 2 times 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. So solution. I have a solution. This system is consistent. I have one or more solutions. Solution is x equals 2, y equals 1, or if you want to write it as a point, the point is 2, 1. Okay, let's do our check, and then we'll be finished. Let's check and make sure that this works in each of our two equations, otherwise it's not a solution to the system. So we're going to check equation 1. Equation 1 was 2x plus y equals 5. Let's put in our point. When x is 2 and y is 1, 2 times 2 plus 1, does that equal 5? Well, this is 4 plus 1 is 5. Yes, our solution works for equation 1. Now let's check equation 2, a bit more complicated. Negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 2. Again, we are, we're checking our solution set of 2, 1. x is 2, y is 1. So substitute 2 in for x and 1 in for y. Do we get negative 2? Well, this is negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. We sure do. So we feel good about our solution set for the system because we checked it in both equations. So that's how to solve by substitution. Next up, how to solve by what's called elimination.